now that we've reloaded Pro Tools, when we instantiate or the plugin, when we insert the plugin contact free, you'll notice that our routing information is retained and is now available for our DAW to make use of. As I mentioned, I've already made a NKI file of the Urban Arsenal kit. Urban Arsenal, I took the first one that was available, Awake. So we're going to instantiate that. We're going to turn this down, the volume down. And now, if we play the kit, all of the pieces are coming in on this master channel in contact. And the main channel, which is our master channel for the track in which the contact plugin was instantiated. Let's go ahead and create additional tracks. We're going to do, uh, we have a total of four, so we'll create uh, three more. And we'll make them stereo, and we'll make them all instrument tracks in Pro Tools. Okay, we're going to do, you can keep all your MIDI in one track. So you're not going to assign any MIDI, but if you wanted to, you can assign all of these to MIDI channel 1. And here we're going to assign these three to the plugin contact, you see, sub 1. So there's a trick in uh, Pro Tools that I can assign sub 1, 2, and 3 by any of the tracks that are already selected. So I'm just going to take the first one, and you can see sub 1, sub 2, sub 3 very nice feature in Pro Tools. Again, we'll play some of the instruments and you see that they all come out on this master channel. One of the other things about separating the kit pieces, which we will do now, we're going to close the script editor because that's just a drum machine, and we're going to open up the group editor, which is where the kit pieces reside. And as you can see, as we play, each piece, kit piece, in the Urban Arsenal collection has been assigned to its own group. There are 12 kit pieces, and each one of them are assigned to their own group. All of them are routed to what is the main for the instrument, is the output main. What we like to do, however, is output, say, let's take the clap, which is drum 4, and output to subgroup number 1. So here, we'll just close the folder, make more room. We'll come here, and again, you see they're all like that. Now, one of the things about separating these from the main output is that this main output here no longer has any effect on anything that's not coming in off the main channel. So the sub groups here or the sub um, routing will not have any effect by this master fader and neither will the master pan and the tuning so none of the master information will happen anymore they become independent as well as any send effects so any send effects for the instruments will not take a hold of for anything routed to anything but the main. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our volume is way down for our other kit pieces and control the volume with the faders or control it with the group volume knob, tuning, pan, etc. because it won't happen in the master uh, section of contact. So we'll take the drum, which is number four, and in the group panel, you'll see the output default. And we're going to output default for this group to subgroup number one. Now when we play the clap, you see that it comes out on its second sub to sub one. And sub one here in Pro Tools, which has been routed, that clap also comes out on its discrete channel. All other drums still come out on the master fader 
and also route it to the master fader inside contact. So the drum, we take this, this uh, snare drum and we can route that to channel sub 2. And as we play that, you'll see that that comes here on sub 2 and output to its own discrete channel in, in your DAW on a separate track. So now as you're playing the kit's drum computer, you can see how they are affected. So you can further process them if you want. Inside the DAW, you can also set up other effects inside of Core on the group uh, panel itself. You can't do it on the instrument channel or the insert. So these inserts that affect the the master no longer affect any of the rerouted drums. That's why these are clipping, by the way is because now you don't have the uh, lo-fi, you don't have saturation set at a proper uh, gain level in order for it to control from clipping. So that you'll have to manage yourself, either through a, a gain plugin or by setting up some other contact, uh, perhaps a compressor or something for that group on that, that drum. So it can be controlled set the output for the compressor for the snare and you notice that it becomes very low very high very low so there you have it and that's how you do multiple outputs in contact for your DAW you can check how of course how to uh, route these in your DAW you'd have to look at your own documentation so there you have it I hope it's clear Thank you very much. Again, this is Terrence Lennon of Ivory Key Productions. See you soon.